Hello everyone, I'm Never Die. welcome to my channel. This week we are back with the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are part of the circle of life, like the last life. They're gone now, except for the seagulls. Uh, the other birds, not dinosaurs, actually. They're just uh, amputated dragons. They all should have had wings, but they don't, because somebody goes around stepping them off. I don't know who that is, certainly not you, Kyle. Might want to stop cutting their wings off. Anyways, uh, these ones are, I guess, back in time. Um, yeah, I, I always like getting back to the dinosaurs. Never know what to do with them, though. Um, I like this expression on him here. I often remember back to uh, reading Calvin and Hobbes comics, uh, and they always, he did, Wadsworth did a really good job of you know, drawing the, the over-exaggerated expressions. And here we go with his tongue. I like it. Uh, it's, it's rare that I get to draw them in this way, so that's nice. And I never know actually how to draw the uh, pterodactyl. The head is a bit odd. I also have that problem with my character Nip in my books. I really made a mistake with that character. <laughs> I shouldn't have drawn a character that had an ambiguous 3D topology to his skull. Because uh, I, I should have a physical model to go off of. Because eh, rotating it around is always difficult. It's hard to picture how it goes. So this one is based on a little bit of a true story. Somebody gave me food. One day, they're like, try this. Um, so, being the very kind and generous and gracious person that I am, of course, I would scoop up a little bit. I think it was a food, the solid, probably. And I ate it, a little bit, some of it. And then, my first thought is, A, shouldn't this probably have taste? It did have a color. Like, orangey brown, yellowy. But also, shouldn't I have the perception that this is something that I could possibly eat and swallow. And I didn't have that perception after eating it. I, I thought, Momai, what have I put in my mouth? And why is it breaking down like this? It is this packing material? I think it might be packing material. Anyways, I asked them, why does this like, taste like paper? Shouldn't, because it's like a fried thing. It's like a, it was a chicken McNugget, say like that. Shouldn't it taste A, like chicken or? What was the outside made of? Tastes like paper. Apparently, they made up the recipe based on what they thought it should be made of. Okay, well, I thought only I did that with cookies slash buns. Uh, apparently, you can just make up recipes and wind up with something that passes as food visually, but not edibly. Uh, so hmm, that explains that. Uh, if you make up your own recipe, don't be surprised if you don't wind up having made what you thought you wanted to make. Uh, so I had the misfortune of eating one of those things. So I just wanted to realize it in comic form. Uh, and really, of course, all comics are pulled from real life uh, or something made up. And if you haven't chosen whether or not you're making something up or picking from reality, uh, then you need a third category to jam your idea in. Because uh, if you don't categorize your ideas, then what are you doing? You're just disorganized. Um, so. It looks like he's eating some kind of... Oh, no, no, he's eating nuggets. Yeah. Nuggies. Uh, with a nice dipping sauce. Yeah, I think my comment... I often have very polite comments for things. Uh, I think my comment here was the punchline for this. Oh, what's the punchline? Hurry up and write it, never not. Go faster. My response to the food was, you know, there's this dipping sauce is amazing. The only thing wrong with it is this thing that I just dipped into it. <laughs> they didn't take events. They knew that they hadn't even eaten it themselves, for one thing. If you make a food and you don't eat it, that's telling. That's, 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 we know what's going on there. All right, now, often with the dinosaur comics, they're in their own dino world, and their own dino world, I think, is kind of complicated. And I don't have time to draw their complicated backgrounds, so I gotta throw in a sort of an abstracty kind of a background. I'm gonna go with the changing the background color in each panel just to keep it, not because it's actually changing in their world, but it's just eh. comics keep a little bit of variety when you're swiping to make sure, you know you swiped when the background color changes. Um, I will put a bit of detail like into the floor there uh, just to make it look like they're somewhere. Uh, and I'm just gonna quickly mock in, let's say a window. Uh, to give it a little bit more sense they're actually in a place. I'm going to do that cheating thing of 3D where I just you know, copy it and shade that edge of the circle a little bit darker so it looks like a porthole, a window thing. 
And let's put it in some clouds. And we're not going to make the clouds the same in every panel. It'll give us a sense of the passage of time. And since they're just talking, these clouds must be moving really fast. I'm guessing the weather there is hurricane level. Because uh, there's no way the clouds could change that quickly uh, in those panels. Whatever. Uh, it is fun, though, to play with those brushes. The combination of those, of those brushes gives you that nice effect. Uh, the distortion brush always gives you that sort of wispy thing. Uh, and that was also one of the more the splattery, spongy kind of brushes uh, to produce the clouds. Uh, so I recommend that. Uh, and always slip in your secret little details at the end when people have stopped watching the video so they won't know about the secrets. Uh, and then you can get away with just saying that they're there. Ooh, I wonder where that spaceship came from. Hmm, what book might that be from? I don't know. Uh, certainly not from my website, book three and four. Anyways, their world is a very technological world and they don't wear clothes because they're dinosaurs and really it's just humans that are weird about that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next week.